This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at the different types of structural formulas. We'll start by looking at butane. Butane's molecular formula is C4H10. The molecular formula is the actual number of atoms in a compound. Next, we have the empirical formula. The empirical formula for butane is C2H5. This tells you the lowest whole number ratio of atoms in a compound. Moving on to the full structural formula for butane, which shows all the atoms in the compound together with the bonds. Next we have the condensed structural formula for butane. As you can see it shows all the atoms that are in the molecule, but it leaves out the bonds between the atoms. And finally we have the skeletal formula. This is the skeletal formula for butane. As you can see, the hydrogen atoms have been omitted, leaving only the carbon skeleton. Next, we look at but1-ene. Its molecular formula is C4H8. Its empirical formula is CH2. Here we can see the full structural formula with a double bond between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2, hence the name but1-ene. Next, we have the condensed structural formula for butuanine. And finally, the skeletal formula, and you can see the double bond between carbon number 1 and carbon number 2. To finish off, we'll have a look at some more examples of skeletal formulas. Our first example is a branched alkane. The longest carbon chain is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 carbon atoms. There are two branches on carbon number 2 and carbon number 3. Both branches are methyl groups, hence the name 2,3-dimethylpentane. Our next example is an alkyne, due to the presence of a triple bond between carbon atoms. The longest continuous chain is 6 carbon atoms, and the triple bond is between carbon number 2 and carbon number 3, and the name is hex2-ine. Our next example has a carbonyl group, which is a carbon double bonded to an oxygen at the end of a molecule, which means it's an aldehyde. The longest continuous carbon chain is four carbon atoms, which makes it butanal. Our next example has an OH or hydroxyl functional group. The longest carbon chain is one to three carbon atoms, and the OH group is bonded to carbon number one, Therefore, the name is propan-1-ol. Our next example has a carbonyl group, and the carbon that's double bonded to the oxygen is also bonded to two other carbon groups. Therefore, it's a ketone. The longest continuous chain is four carbon atoms. Therefore, it's butanone. And finally, we have an ester, which has the ester functional group. This ester is ethyl butanoate. We'll look at naming esters in a later video. Next, we look at stereochemical formula. On the right, we have a model of a methane molecule made using a 3D model kit. The 3D structure of a molecule can be represented using the stereochemical formula, which you can see in this diagram here. In the stereochemical formula, the two solid lines represent bonds that are in the plane of the paper. The wedge is used to represent a bond coming out from the paper and the dashed line represents a bond going into the paper. 